Hello. Hey y'all, it's your girl back at it again with another video. Today will be a, a get unready with me. Ooh, these lights are so bright. Okay. Um, if you want to see how I did this look, you can go over and click on my last video. Watch that if you want. Um, but now it's time to take it off. I've had it on for a while. I'm looking a little shiny. So first what I do is just take the base layer of my makeup off with some makeup wipes. These are just some micellar cleanser water makeup wipes from Trader Joe's. I like these. They're decent. Rude. They're thin, so they do tear a little easily, but that's fine as long as you're not, you know, playing tug of war with them, then they should be fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my base layer off, and then I'll sh show you what I do next. I usually have to use more than one wipe when I do my makeup. When I undo my makeup, rather. Okay, you see that? <sighs> my face makeup of all... Wow, I can't speak. You see that my face makeup is off, but my eyes are still there. That's because I like to use my cellar water to get the eye makeup off. And most of the time when I use makeup wipes, they're just too harsh on my eyes. My eyes are pretty sensitive. So I'll just soak a cotton pad with my cellar water, apply it on my eye, and just leave it there for a second and then swipe. And I'll do that a few times. Gosh. Of course, when I'm trying to get all my makeup off, it doesn't all come off. Usually it takes a while, especially if I tight line my eyes, the, the, um, the makeup in my eye well, on my waterline doesn't really come off, so I have to wait a few days and kind of end up looking like a raccoon, but I get as much as I can off. Especially if the makeup is waterproof, oh my goodness, you'll have a harder time trying to get that off. Okay, now that I'm done with that, of course I still have a lot of makeup on. Uh, I just got the base layer off, but there's still a lot there. I'm going to use this. I'm almost done with it so you can see it is well loved. It's a face wash with tea tree oil in it by um, from Trader Joe's. I love this so much. I have really greasy, oily skin. So this really helps to remove all of that and remove the dirt from my face. And the, I really like how soapy and lathery that this gets, uh, and it doesn't leave like a sticky residue on the on the skin. It makes you feel like you know clean, like squeaky clean. I know a lot of people probably don't like that because it, it is a little bit drying. But for me, that's not a problem because I have such oily skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and when I come back, I'll show you what I do to tone and moisturize. I'm back. So yep, definitely my skin feels more clean and um, what I do when I, my pores need a lot of help, they're in distress, they're clogged, is I use this. This stuff is amazing. When I use this, like the next day my skin feels so clear and my, and my pores feel so unclogged. I really like using this. Only downfall is that it's very, very dry. Of course, I said before, I have really oily skin, so I don't mind that. Now, I am a, I am a chapstick fiend. I think I have a problem because I have like 20 chapsticks that I don't use, um, but I love chapstick. I can't live without it. If my lips are chapped, that's all I can think about is just how dry they are and it becomes really, really hard to get through the day. I just, I just really love chapsticks. I love EOS because their products are very, very moisturizing and I don't use products with like Vaseline or petroleum jelly in them because they're not very moisturizing. Cause you know how they have like little pots of petroleum jelly or Vaseline. I don't use those cause they're not very moisturizing. They keep moisture in, but they're not very moisturizing. But EOS, lovely, I love them. Now this is what I use to tone. It's not mine, it's my mom's, but she gave me some of it and I love using it cause it smells like roses and it's so pretty. Pretty to look at really it is. So 
So I'll just take some of this on a cotton pad to tone. Toner closes your pores. And I know um, what I used to use to tone was like witch hazel or a sea breeze. Sea bre Rude. I used to use sea breeze to tone and that stuff like burned. But this doesn't burn. It's This stuff doesn't burn. It's very hydrating. It feels hydrating and it smells really good. So I just rub this all over my face and it adds an extra layer of moisturization too. And plus it picks up any dirt that I might have missed. Um, what I use to moisturize usually is this Belief Aqua Balm. I love this stuff. It's like a water cream and it's so hydrating. So I just take this much very little you do not need a lot and I dab it all, all around the face and then I work it in in circular motions even under my eye I don't use like five different creams or lotions to moisturize my face I just use this one it's very good to moisturize even if you have very greasy skin such as myself because I'll tell you I have greasy skin but I still get dry patches and like my skin will peel especially around here and around here my skin will like peel and it's really gross. So it's very good to moisturize and exfoliate. So yeah, pretty much that's all I use to get on ready. Um, just a couple of things. I usually like to keep my routines fairly simple because I like to do them in a really short amount of time. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching um, this little video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you ha have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Um, well, honeypots, as always, stay well and stay beautiful. Bye.